how to sell an online course hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can create and sell your online course so having said that let's just jump into the video now there are basically three steps in order to do this so first what you're going to do is you're going to create like a landing page or a website for your course then step number two is going to be connecting an lms system which is called like learning management system where you can create your course and then step number three is going to be connecting a payment system for your course so these are the two things that we're going to be doing so let's get started so first things first we need to create a landing page so what we'll do is we'll come over here underneath template sections and we have kit library we can go over here but yeah if you already have that but if you don't, then what you're going to do is you're going to click on the plugin section and you're going to install these three, you know, or two like plugins. Like these are the essential ones, which is the Elementor and the starter templates, because this one contains all the templates. This one will get, let you edit your website. All right. So once that's done, let's go ahead and click over here on appearances and we can choose a theme so we're going to be choosing a theme so you can go with the astra theme or you could click on add new and over here you can go ahead and choose the hello elementor theme because this one is for elementor itself so we just simply click over here uh, it just simply works much more better than you know with elementor than any other theme so it's good so we activate the theme and now what we'll do is we'll click over here onto details and we'll click on start a template for the hello theme we're going to click on build your site we're going to choose elementor and over here all these different templates over here are going to be you know accessible for us our website with elementor so over here you can go ahead and find what you're looking for so as you can see underneath e-commerce you have course marketplace online courses lms you can choose online courses right and over here you can choose some of these websites or you could go with a course marketplace or lms in general basically just choose any of these websites and you should be good to go right so let's go ahead and choose a website so i'm gonna go with again online courses and over here you can choose which type of website you want it all depends on you so as you can see most of these websites are premium some of these are free so we're gonna stick with a free plan free website and we are good to go so over here as you can see you know digital agency marketplace firm online cooking courses online courses over here so this one looks good so we're going to choose this website over here you can upload your logo and you can choose your logos length and width over here instead of education you will have your own logo and over here this is basically how it's going to look like you have all of your courses over here you know why choose us over here you can add all of these different uh you know settings all of these different panels it all depends on you so i'm just simply going to skip this and you can choose which color you want so blue blue sky blue you know like you ha already have like a certain color palette over here but uh yeah the default colors look much better and then you can choose the font as well so i already like poppins open sans so i'm going to continue and over here these are the two things that we're going to need learn dash lms and learn dash course guard so we're gonna you know go ahead and install these so we're gonna click on this template as well like we're gonna click on this uh plugin it's gonna open up over here and it has a pricing plan over here as well so you can go ahead and check that out as well so 159 189 320 but we don't need this so we'll just simply skip it and over here you can fill out this form and you are good to go then your website will begin to you know build so then you can just simply wait a couple of seconds and it's good to go so i'm gonna pause this video right here catch you guys in a second and over here as you can see congratulations uh your website has now been created and now we can go ahead and click over this button right here to view our website so as you can see this is how it looks like over here you click on all courses it's going to show you all the courses over here but as you can see currently there is no courses as of yet so we're going to have to program some courses within this website but yeah so let's go ahead and do that so for that we also going to need this element over here this plugin 
which is called Namaste LMS. So we're going to need this. And so we're going to go ahead and install it into our uh, dashboard over here. So let me go back. Yeah. So let's go over here on our dashboard right here. So let's go ahead and click on plugins and add new and add this plugin right here. So over here, we're just simply going to search for LMS. So over here, if we search for LMS, we can see we have Tutor LMS over here. So this is basically the one what we are going to be, you know, installing. So I've already activated it. So once you've activated and installed it, this is the home page. So just simply click on let's get started. So over here, what type of platform, you know, you want to run. So you pick up a category of your LMS. So you want a marketplace or an individual. I want an individual. So let's go ahead and click on next. Then you just simply add like the instructor profile. So allow users to have an instructor profile to showcase awards and completed courses. Do you want that? If you want that, just simply click on no. This is all personal preferences. Then you have student profiles. Allow users to have a student profiles to showcase award and you know completed courses. So if you want to have like you know student courses or student you know profiles, you can go ahead and do that. But I don't think that that's necessary. Then just simply click on next. And then over here, show instructions bio. Yeah, I would definitely like that. Questions and answers. Allow Q&A forms for each of the course. Sure. And courses per row. You can have like one, two, three, four, or five, depending upon how much you want. And courses per page. You can add that many. But I don't think that's necessary. So I'll just say 10. And per row, I'll just say three or two actually two would be nice or maybe three yeah and then courses per page is going to be 12 yeah and then just simply click on next and then down below you have your option guest checkout or commission rate or payment withdrawals so you can choose whichever one you want so commission rate 80 percent to the instructor and the 20 percent to the admin so yeah and then you have bank transfer electronic checks or paypal you can choose whichever one you want i say bank transfer and paypal but uh, yeah then just simply click on finish setup and you are good to go then what you can do is over here onto the left side you will see you have categories tags students questions uh quiz add-ons tools and all of that right so let me actually get rid of this okay so over here you can go ahead and start building your course so let's go ahead and scroll down and click on let's start building and over here you add in the course name right pretty simple you add in the form or the media for the course you know like basically anything you want it all depends on you and you can have like excerpts over here and you can set course difficulty as well co maximum student per courses uh, public courses or q a you can add new topics over here and then you have some additional data like what will i learn targeted audiences total course duration materials included and requirements slash instructions and then you can add like a video form as well so this is pretty much it pretty simple nothing too crazy uh and as i said before with this uh, lms system or this plugin you can easily go ahead and connect your uh, paypal or stripe account or your bank account as well so you don't have to worry about that so just simply add in different courses and you should be good to go and of course uh so let's go ahead and do it so i'm gonna say cooking course over here and i'll just simply write i'm lucky over here and then over here custom fields so over here uh add new custom fields so over here name and value so you can select over here uh whatever you want if you want to have these if you don't want to you can leave it blank and then down below you have your author so you can add different authors of each courses so then as i said before maximum students let's say maximum students can be up to five difficulty is yeah sure intermediate it's not a public course and you can enable q a so i would like that and then you can add some new topics if you want and then you have additional data so what will i learn over here you will learn how to cook pretty simple targeted audience will be chefs and you know cooks and stuff like that and we can say like a total let's say one or two hours and 30 minutes 
is the duration of this course and over here you can add like the materials a list of assets you will be providing the students so you can say i will teach you how to cook teach you how to all the basics uh 101 of kitchen how to use a knife how to use this how to use that like i don't i'm not really a professional in this field so this is basically do whatever you want like you get the general idea right just enter in the information of your course what are you going to teach them what they'll learn all the things that you are providing and all of that and you should be good to go and then you can add your video as well over here so no video source is selected from settings so you can add that as well and over here onto the right side you can see you have your featured image so you can go ahead and add that and you can have like other settings as well and over here you can just simply go ahead and publish your course now as i said before if you wanted to add like videos you simply click on settings over here underneath tutor lms and over here you will see courses content visibility courses and all of that just simply scroll down and find that video option and you are good to go and over here you can see you have your preferred video sources so you can choose what type of video like you want like html5 or external urls or youtube vimeo embedded or short code you know all of them so we can choose any of these option and click on save right there we go now if we come over here underneath courses and let's say we this is the course right click over here and if we wanted to add our video file we just choose what type of video file we want if you wanted an embedded video we just simply click on embedded and place the embedded code over here or if we have already uploaded a video somewhere else let's say youtube or external url or any other website we simply choose that and paste that uh, url over here and we are good to go so pretty simple that is it and that's how you add different courses so then you can add your students over here you will see all of your applic you know students settings and all of that and then over here you have your uh, add-ons as well so you can add other options as well you know like subscriptions paid memberships uh, rents and all of that but for that of course it's going to be a little bit expensive so pretty simple nothing too crazy that's how you do it that's how you add different courses within your website and then if you just simply you know want to check it out then you can go ahead and go over to your website you can simply go over to your website and check it out right but uh if you want to see over here we can click on view course right here and we can see all of our courses information pretty simple nothing too crazy i mean of course i didn't do anything and if someone wants to enroll in them all they have to do is click on this button and they can easily be enrolled in it and then you can simply go ahead and watch the course you know ask questions over here course informations and all of that so pretty simple as you can see over here so so that's basically it that's how you do it that's how you create different courses and upload onto your website so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye